So if you're an Amazon seller, then you must use this Amazon FBA calculator to estimate your profit, Amazon FBA fee, referral fee, and every calculation you need to know about your product. But as you already know that Amazon has given the notice to all the seller three months before that Amazon will discontinue this old Amazon FBA calculator and will launch new Amazon FBA calculator which can give you more precise and accurate data and make your analysis more easier for you. So on the 31st August of 2022, Amazon has discontinued the old profit calculator and from 1st September, you can see the new FBA calculator to calculate your profit. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step that how you can get the maximum benefit from that new FBA calculator, how you can use that and how it can help you to get more and more profit and make your Amazon business a lot more easier. But before getting started, I was there and I sell my products on Amazon, eBay, Shopify, ClickFunnel and Redbubble. And on this channel, I share my knowledge with you people so you can do the same and build your online business. So if you are interested in learning about the fastest and easiest way to make money online, which can give you profit in your first 7 days, then make sure to sign up for my free 30 minutes webinar from the link below so you can also achieve financial freedom like me and leave you a 9 to 5 job. So without any further delay, let's start the video. Alright guys, so as you can see here, I'm on my computer screen now and on this article, you can see the old FB calculator, which you can see no longer after 31st August. So in order to navigate to the new FB calculator, you need to go on Google and type Amazon FBA calculator. And after that, you need to click on this first link, which says FBA revenue calculator. And from there, you can see two options, sign in or continue as guest. So if you're already having the Amazon account, which I believe you will have, so you can just click on sign in or you can continue as guest as well if you don't have the Amazon seller account. So let's click on sign in. So you can see that this is the new Amazon FBA calculator. So in order to calculate the FBA fees and profit of any product, you need to put the ASIN or SQ of that product and click on search. So for example, we are just taking this product as an example. So we can just grab an ASIN of this product, copy this, and before pasting, we need to know the selling price of this product so you can just estimate the information correctly, which is 22.99. So on the Amazon FBA calculator, we can just paste this ASIN and we can just keep the market US. So you can just change the market if you are having any other market. So after putting the ASIN, you can just click on search. So as you can see there, Amazon has already fetched that product, their BSR, sales rank, rating and all that. So as you can see that in old revenue calculator, there was only one chart, but right now you can see the three chart. Number one is Amazon fulfillment. Number two is your fulfillment. And number three is select program to compare. So this will be used if you are using Amazon FBA and this will be used if you're using Amazon FBM and you're shipping the products by yourself from your home. And this will be used if you want to compare the profit of your product by two or three different prices. For example, you need to know like how much profit you will get if you sell this product for $25, how much profit you will get if you sell for $26, $27 or $28. So if you want to compare the profit by entering different values of selling price, then you can use this third block. But as for now, we only want to use this Amazon fulfillment. So here you can see that the revenue calculator has already fetched the selling price, which was 22.99. And here we need to put the rest of the information in order to calculate the profit. And on the top, you can see that revenue calculator is already telling me the Amazon fee which is 3.45 which basically directly proportional to the selling price and Amazon fulfillment cost which is 7.70 dollar which is directly proportional to the weight and dimension of your product so 7.7 plus 3.45 it will be around something like 10.5 dollars so this will be the FBA fee you need to give to Amazon and along with the storage cost and below you can see that Amazon is showing us two buttons which is January to September and October to December as because you know that in both season Amazon will change the fee like Amazon will charge the less fee in the off season and Amazon will charge the more fee in the on season like in the Q4 season because in Q4 season as you know the sales are super high and Amazon will increase the storage cost. You can see that in January to September, it is charging us $0.43 and in October to December, it is charging us $1.25, which is more than double of that old amount. So right now, when we go down, you can see that it is asking us for the average inventory units stored. So let's suppose we are having 500 units stored and in one month, we just sell 250 units. And the cost of good is like what is the amount you pay to your supplier for one unit for example i am paying three dollars for the product to my supplier and one dollar for the shipping so after inserting all those value when i go down so amazon is showing me the profit which is 5.33 dollars and in percentage it will be 23.2 percent 
So in that way, you can just insert all the values of your product, the ASIN, the monthly sales, the number of units stored, and all the costs you pay to your supplier for goods and for shipping. So after inserting all these value here in the new FBA calculator, you will be able to find out your actual net profit. So by using this, you will be having a clear picture in your mind, like how much profit you will make if you get X amount of sale in one month. So that's it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something great from it. So if you really found my content informative and helpful for you, then make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. So you can watch more and more videos like this in the future. And if you have any question regarding this video or any other topic regarding e-commerce, then you can just chat with me anytime from the link in the description below. So let's meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.